All right. I'm recording. What is going on with you guys? Welcome. It's Friday. Weekend Braves. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Wonderful. How that music sounds, so Julie? great to see you. I can barely hear it. it sounds all good. I, really? I, I don't hear any music this week. But you don't that hear no doesn't music. mean that we can't keep going. We're going to keep going. We Oh, we're going to keep going. Girl, what do you work? We're going to hear a little bit of music first. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> like Hawaiian jazz. <laughs> And, and, and Julie, check this out oh, right here. Great. I love it. Wait a minute now. Wait, wait, wait. Julie, check this out. I'm you waiting, ready? I'm waiting, Daryl. You I'm ready? Going. Watch this. I'm going. <laughs> uh, Daryl, this is this is real technology coming to you. Do, do you live. love it? I don't huh? think we're live, but we're live. We are don't worry about it. We're live all the time. So anyway. <laughs> Let me get started here with the uh, the weekend brief that's coming from weekend Commercial Multifamily Mastermind. Present today, October 30th, to, um, 2020. Can you believe tomorrow uh, little kids are going to be knocking on your doors, you know? They will. That's what's going to happen. They will. I'll be, I'm going to shoot it down a big pole. So I'll just give them the 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 a big PVC here, kid. It's at the bottom. Oh man! Well, today we have coming to you live, Julian do, Peterson. With there you old go, Capital old Capital, and, and, and Alicia Milton from the KW Commercial, and of course Daryl Murphy Senior from the Murphy Bayonet Financial Group, LLC. So today, um, today brief, of course, is coming from globestreet.com. Uh, and uh, the topic uh, for today is New York mm -hmm. rents fall 15.3% since March. Yeah. Oh, that is... That is a bad yeah. deal. So rents in New York decreased 2.8% month over month in October and are down by 15.3% since the start of the pandemic in March, according to the November 2020 New York rent report from Apartment List. Since the pandemic began, New York has had the second fastest decline among the nation's 50 largest cities. Compared to October 2019, rents are down 17%. Right now, mm -hmm. median rents are $1,619 for a one-bedroom apartment and $1,703 for a two-bedroom apartment in New York. After rents increased last December, they have fallen 10 straight months. The city's year-over-year -year rent growth lags the state average of negative 7%, as well as the national average of negative 1.4%. Despite the city's current struggles, Marty Berger, CEO of Silverstein Properties, a New York office and apartment developer and owner, believes things will improve once people return to work. I think the residential will follow the office, obviously, Berger tells Globestreet.com. New York City itself is hurting right now on the multifamily side because the offices aren't filled and the companies aren't demanding that their people be here. The folks that are filling those seats don't feel the need to be in the city. Berger says apartment owners are experiencing 10, 15, and 20% decline in occupancy because <laughs> workers aren't required to be in the city. The attractions aren't open. The Broadway shows aren't open and people don't feel the need to be here, Berger says. When those things start to come back, that's when we'll start to get the apartments filled up again. 
while the national rent index is down 1.4%. Performance varies dramatically according to apartment list. Since the pandemic began, San Francisco posted the largest rent decline of 21.7%. It was followed by New York, Seattle, negative 14%, Boston, negative 13.6%, and San Jose, California, negative 12.2%. As renters look to leave high-cost metros, landlords in smaller cities are benefiting. The largest Mm -hmm. rent growth since the pandemic has been posted by Boise, Idaho, 9.4%. 9.4%. Toledo, Ohio, 8.4%. Chesapeake, Virginia, 8.2%. Greensboro, North Carolina, 7.9%. And Reno, Nevada, 6.6%. Some apartment owners in the Southeast are seeing an influx of demand in their portfolios. We are seeing actual population shifts. William uh, Sprancy, CFO of North Carolina-based Ella Capital told GlowStreet.com in an earlier interview. I believe demand is still extremely strong in the Carolinas as the pandemic has only accelerated the trend of migration out of the more densely populated areas to lower cost and lower density regions of the Southeast. So head over to Commercial Multifamily Mastermind Group on Facebook to read further articles in relation to this as for where the value declines uh, will be the worst. But I will say Julie um, and and Alicia, um, this here, what, what, what we're going through right now is is something that I think is definitely going to be felt for a while. I have been listening to a lot of, of um, a lot of podcasts, a lot of things, and they're talking about you know how the, the the growth is and how we're doing otherwise. But for some reason, I believe that all of this growth that we're seeing, besides the migration and um, how vacancies have not really uh, hit. Um, highs yet, I believe mm-hmm. a lot of that's because of the money that has been coming in from the government. So I believe well, I, that I would agree with you. I, I would say let's <clears throat> let's um, let's not jump to conclusions as to um, if we should change our underwrite to show that we're like in a, a normal uh, a normal uh, situ a normal circumstance. I still think we're in that we should be cautious and careful. That's what I believe. Yeah. So. Be uh, very, yep. I think so. Conservative for sure. Yeah. So. I agree. What? So now, what have you seen, Alicia, where you are? Um, it's been interesting where we are. Um, you know, our. Price appreciation initially, you know, was really good. We had substantial growth. Um, And then we had a slowdown, you know, during COVID-19 as the world, you know, experienced. Um, Our market has kind of held at, you know, where cap rates have been about 5% for investors. Mm -hmm. Um, We haven't seen any owners increase rents which is good. Uh, we've seen an influx of people renting. Right. Um, like we can't even keep rental homes on the market and uh, the multifamily rental properties um, have held you know, with their leasing. There are some vacancies because you have those people that were already saving for a home and right. with interest rates being so low, um, it's very affordable to buy a home, <laughs> you know, right. um, so people that were waiting until next year can, as long as they have steady income, they can purchase now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're seeing a lot of people post, hey, look, my mortgage just went from like 1500 to 
900 a month or from 1100 to 600 a month you know really? so mm. yeah so it's it's been quite special mm. and i don't think this is it <laughs> right for the exactly. road coaster we've been on right well i'm hoping to be one of those people that's going to say that my mortgage went from uh <laughs> that high to the two because i'm sure enough trying to refinance my house right here because yeah, yeah yeah, I, I came in, mm. my mortgage here, uh, boy, if I tell you what my interest rate is, you'd be like, what? Uh, but I'm paying, uh, I'm enough. paying a good seven and a quarter. Yeah. That's what I'm paying, seven and a quarter. No way. Yeah. On your home. On my home. You got to get out of that. I, I am. <laughs> I am. Oh I am. my God, that's crazy. Yeah. Seven and a quarter. That's what I'm paying. That's not. Yeah, that's, that's abnormally high for right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I'll tell you a little bit about us. We are seeing a lot of pricing like to the, through the roof and it's sizing because the, it doesn't, the performance of the asset is right. not supporting, right? These prices. So we're having to, it, it's coming in at 58, 60, 63%, right. which is nothing when it, you know, we're talking about syndicating a deal. Right. So we're looking at other options like bridge to try and get the asset performing, even though they could be performing well, like 95. I just did a deal 95, 96% in Texas. And, uh, you know, the pricing was just so high and elevated that we had to go to a bridge and you could go, go from 58 to 73 so there are other ways to get around it, but I think you know you're looking at a real risk factor. So how much do you want to do? How much do you want to really get involved with this at right. this point? So the market is is amazing. I'll tell you, we have a, a large amount of deal flow right now with the interest rates so low, refinancing, assumptions, bridge. Um, it, we're, we're real busy. Wow, that's good though. That's good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, well, I will say things are, we, we got to hang in there. We only have a couple more months left to the end of the year. Right. And, when the, and when the new year rolls yeah, in, for sure. that's when things, are, you know, that's when I think we, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Right. It's going and to I happen. Can tell you, I can tell you, like in our market, we're still moving, you know, with companies that are coming out here. We have a lot of companies like the um, engineering companies, transportation technology, and um, medical providers. Right. Like they've been leasing space that has been over 10,000 square feet. Um, I don't know quite, you know, how they're going to get all of their people in there given, you know, our numbers continue to fluctuate. Um, and go up and down like our, our numbers we we continue to see them for COVID-19 you know thousands every day right um, being diagnosed with COVID-19 so you know they're gonna have to fit their people somewhere <laughs> exactly exactly H have the both of you heard that CBRE has decided to move their headquarters out of California and into Texas yeah I know that they had been talking about that for several years, um, just because it keeps their costs low. Uh, as a former CBRE, oh, there you go. <laughs> I know that they had been talking about that for some time, so it's interesting that they're doing it now. But you know, it makes sense, right? Well, from what I from what I understand, I, I was on a. KW had, um, uh, we had uh, a, uh, um, a conference call with um, one of our regional, um, I think he was one of our regional uh, people from Houston, uh, Austin, and he was talking about the election, how, how um, it, it's a possibility that the election is going to play a big part in, in the uh, real estate industry. I also listened to Neil Bauer yesterday, yesterday or the day before, his prediction when he had his town hall on the way things may happen to turn out with whoever gets in office. But uh, wh how, whoever gets in office, 
I would just say, you know, whatever your game plan is, when the new rules are made, just you have to adjust your game plan to the new rules of the game. Yeah. And, and you got to keep pushing through. Um, I, I would say start talking to your accountant now about if there's a change of office. Don't wait till the change come. Prepare now because you don't get stuck out there in the wind. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. So yeah. with that, I'm going to say, how could everyone get in contact can contact with you, Julie and Elisa? Tell everybody how they can get in contact well, with you. Well, I so appreciate that. My name, uh, well, actually, I am in, uh, well, I'm in San Diego, but who cares about that? But uh, I'm in Facebook. I'm in... Uh, <laughs> I'm in LinkedIn. You can certainly find me there. Um, I'm also on Zoom at 8 p.m. Eastern if you look at my page there. And I'm also uh, can be reached at 972-833-2774. Happy to take your call. Fantastic. Fantastic. Go ahead and hit it, Alicia. Awesome. What about you? So you can reach me on all the social media platforms at Real Estate with Alicia or CRE, that is commercial real estate. So CRE with Alicia. My phone number is area code 480-712-8890. Fantastic, fantastic. And if anyone want to get in contact with me uh, or any of us, you could also or ask us a question. Please feel free to post your questions in, in Facebook or in, on YouTube. I also would like to ask everyone that um, who, who watches this, please jump over to YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Um, there's also other things there on YouTube, such as um, underwriting, how I underwrite a deal and stuff like that. So please subscribe with us, subscribe to us um, at, at YouTube. And uh, on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., we have the Lunch and Grow mm -hmm. with Commercial Monthly Family. So please register for that, and we would love to have you. But for now, I'm going to tell everybody, I'll see you next week. Uh, Alicia, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. And uh, you have a great and fantastic weekend. See you later. Thank you, everybody. We'll All see right. you soon. Bye-bye.